Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? So, Rockstar Games and Nintendo. These two do not match. However, there was a few Rockstar Games ported to the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Color, so let's talk about it. Now, obviously these games didn't turn out the best, but it's still cool to see how Rockstar ported Midnight Club, Grand Theft Auto, and Max Payne to the Game Boy. I mean, they may be shitty D-makes at the end of the day, but I feel like there's a lot of creativity in that. You know, to make something that's 3D into 2D, and the top-down GTA games are easy enough. But to port Max Payne and Midnight Club, that couldn't have been easy back in the day. But either way, uh, enough bullshit. What I want to do here today is just break it down game by game. Let's just get started with the Rockstar Games port to the Game Boy Color. Alright, the original Grand Theft Auto for the Game Boy Advance. Now, like I said before, this is definitely not the best. However, I feel like Rockstar did the best they could when it comes to the Game Boy Color. And I don't know, just imagining playing GTA 1 on the go back in the day must have been kind of cool. But either way, though, this game's still decently priced today. Although, to get a complete unbox, that, that's just fucking crazy. Hey, that's just the retro gaming market, what do you expect? But on to GTA 2. Alrighty, GTA 2, a bit of the same thing, but also a little bit different. Like in the main games, GTA 2 is mostly about, you know, joining games and gaining respect. It's basically the same thing, just crumbled down into a Game Boy cartridge. I mean, you can still join different games, you could still you know, make decisions and stuff like that. And believe it or not, this game is actually reasonably priced. If you want to get the cartridge, it's 30 bucks. If you want to get it in the box, 40 bucks. Eh, that kind of makes sense. But enough of the Rockstar games ported to the Game Boy Color. Let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Alrighty, and Midnight Club. Now, I'll be honest, this game kind of graphically stands out. Now, it's not one of those 3D Game Boy games, but for what it is, it kind of looks good. I mean, granted, you, you lose a lot from the main console games, but for a little Game Boy game, this game is decent. I mean, I'm willing to admit, it's not the best racing game for the Game Boy out there, but still. The fact that they tried to fit Midnight Club into a little Game Boy cartridge amazes me a little bit. And believe it or not, this game is still dirt cheap, even to get it in the box, so if you want to, go check it out. Alright, now I've been waiting to talk about this one, Max Payne for the Game Boy Advance. You see, when importing main console games to the Game Boy Advance, they lose certain aspects like customization, detailed storylines, this and that, but the charm that Max Payne has still translates to the Game Boy, and I love that. However, it is still an isometric shooter, but it still has a, you know, comics, bullet time, stuff like that, all that stuff is still there in the Game Boy port, and this game... This game is just great, both on the console and on the Game Boy, and I can't really say that about any other game in this video. And this game is somewhat reasonably priced, it's 46 bucks in box, 35 bucks loose, it's, it's not too bad, but it's certainly not the best. But yeah man, out of, I would say out of all of the games I talked about in this video, this game kinda stands out the most. Alrighty, GTA Advance. Now, as you can see, this one is kind of heavily based off of GTA 3 for the PS2, except this game has a bit of a story to it. Protagonist who's trying to leave Liberty City and lead a better life. Of course, because this is Grand Theft Auto, that doesn't really go too well. But the fact that a little portable GTA game got its own story is still really creative. It shows they put a lot of heart into GTA Advance. You know, it wasn't just a copy and paste job. And when it comes to pricing, this game is kind of ridiculous to get a complete unbox. But if you want to get the cartridge by itself, it'll just be 30 bucks, which isn't really too bad. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up. It's, it's, I would say, one of the most underrated GTA games besides Vice City Stories. Like when it comes to Grand Theft Auto, nobody talks about this game, and I, I don't really understand why, but hey, it is what it is. Ladies and gents, if you want to, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do in our show, and tell me down below. What's your favorite Rockstar game that's not GTA? Tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.